from Kranha Ashul, introducing first in the blue corner, wearing great trunks with blue trim, Un Peleador de Managua, Nicaragua. Pesando 47.6 kilogramos, he weighed in at 105 pounds, con un record de 24 victorias sin derrota, con 16 de ellos por knockout. His record stands at 24 wins, no losses, with 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing the WBA minimum weight champion, demos la bienvenida al campeón del mundo peso mínimo de la AMB, el invicto, Rosendo, el Cúpalo Álvarez. His opponent in the red corner wearing white trunks, representando Tacubaya Distrito Federal, Mexico. Con un peso de 47.6 kilogramos, he weighed the same as his opponent, 105 pounds. Tiene un sobresaliente record de 46 victorias. Sin derrota, con 35 de ellos por knockout. His record represents the longest undefeated streak in boxing today, with 46 wins, no losses, 35 wins coming by way of knockout. Welcome the WBC strawweight champion of the world. Demos la bienvenida al campeón del mundo peso paja del CMB, el sensacional e invicto. Ricardo Dimito López. Y ahora el referee Arthur Mercanti Sr. for this World Unification title match this afternoon. I want to wish you both a lot of luck. Return to your corners to await the starting bell. Good luck. The world-renowned Arthur McKenney from New York, the vocal and demonstrative crowd behind Mr. Lopez, chanting Mexico, nine of his last 10 wins by knockout. Alvarez, only the third world champion from Nicaragua, joining Alexis Arguello and Eddie Guzzo. He's smart, he's disciplined, but is he in the same class as Ricardo Lopez? We'll soon find out. Lopez, so disciplined, always comes out with his hands held up high. Well schooled, has a great jab and uppercut. Watch out for that right uppercut. He's the master. Well, on paper, Alvarez has some good credentials. An excellent record, obviously undefeated, 16 knockouts, but he's coming in. A couple of pounds to him, you know, 2% of his entire body weight would be rough. Coupled with the fact that he's coming to 5,500 feet above sea level, he has work it out for him. Those are just the small parts of the problem. The big part is that little man in front of him. Very big problem. <laughs> Alvarez prides himself on his straight and likes to fight on the road. Lopez has never lost. Four rounds are all told 86-0. Lopez threw three bombs, all three missed, which is uncharacteristic for him. You throw three, something's going to hit. And I'll tell you what, he got hit with a right-handed, didn't shake him, but let him know that Alvarez is going to be there. Well, Alvarez got all the guts in the world. Nice right hand again by Alvarez. You and can see he's the stronger of the two fighters, clearly. And, and it landed again. Well, we thought Alex Sanchez was the best that Lopez could handle in August, but... We saw what happened there. He wasn't even close to Lopez. It was an easy fifth-round TKO. We asked Lopez if Alvarez was better than Sanchez, and with a little glint of the eye, he said, you know what, fellas, I'll tell you after the fight. Very diplomatic as usual. 
Lopez feels he's prepared extremely well, working on, on sharpening his punches, his speed, and staying with his plan. Food going in the ring, and the fight just started. Arthur McCanty uh, knocking a piece of a pretzel in our direction. So, guys, if you're hungry, grab it. Round one continues. I'll tell you what, he better not stop the fight to, to, to throw things out because we'll be here all night. They've been throwing them in all every, every round of every uh, of the last fight. Well, the demonstrative crowd, they've been throwing little pink packets of hair conditioner that were uh, given away as free samples outside the, uh, the stadium. Tonight, remember Stuttgart, Germany, when they gave away Listerine bottles and they would throw that into the. Uh, I'd rather have a hair stuff. Unbelievable. Since I don't have any hair. <laughs> All right, here comes Alvarez. Trying to press the attack. Lopez able to ward him off. Right now, Lopez being forced to box smart. Alvarez imposing his strength. Physically appearing to be the stronger of the two. And Lopez with tremendous defense. More debris. Two items come flying into I like the ring. I see a guy throw that. I mean, they should have rested him and thrown him right out of the stadium. Uh, already, Alvarez is uh, signaling, uh, watch it, out, he got on top of the head there. Both banged heads, yeah. Yep. Yeah, B both of them banged heads, but nothing happened. I mean, uh, amazing that uh, he should show that. Alvarez, uh, again, again, they come together. They bang heads, now both feeling uh, their tops of their heads. Uh, it, it, now you see both times, and it was hard. None of round two, Lopez crosses himself and looks skyward. And Lopez, uh, if, if we can catch it in one of these things, but the public should see, he raises his arm way before the bell. Way before the bell. That's, you've never seen that with any... Oh! oh! Down goes Lopez! What a beautiful counter right hand. hand! A straight right oh! hand, and Lopez down oh! for the first time in his long oh! career! He is in serious trouble, Steve. No, he's oh! not in that much trouble. He's, he's his looking, legs aren't under him. He's looking like it's nothing. First time as a pro amateur. Ricardo Lopez tasting the canvas, and then Alvarez almost went down with a short left talk. Oh, we've got ourselves a war. Lopez should not stand and fight with the man who's too strong for him right now. He's got to work him and fight smart. Well, that's not his nature. Alvarez pounding away, trying for a repeat. Here in round two, 15 seconds in, Rosendo Alvarez able to put Ricardo Lopez down for the first time in Lopez's career. And it was a beautiful right hand counter over a jab. It was sweet. I can't wait to see a replay of that. And the attack is massive on the part of Rosendo. He's coming on strong. Alvarez relentless. Alvarez has to worry a little bit now about punching himself out. Conditioning any altitude, they're all going to factor in because Lopez isn't going anywhere too quick. Lopez priding himself on knowing not to be there when a punch comes, but... He was there this time. He just did an alley move. He went up against the ropes and came back with a right hand off the ropes. That's what Ali used to do. All right, quick. So quick. things quieting down just a bit here after that wild start to the second round with Lopez going down. Well, we all often wondered how it would take a knockdown, and you really have seen the best because he went down resoundingly, but he got up. He looked all right to me when he got up. He did not look like he was in that much trouble. We approach the final minute of round two. The history-making round of the career of Lopez and Alvarez. Well, Alvarez, Bobby said from the beginning, looked strong. He sure did. I mean, he looked strong, and that punch was a perfect one. He threw a beautiful counter right hand there, and he slowed down now a little bit. He's, he's realized that Lopez has got his wits about him. It's going to take him a while. He's got to get back to work the same way he got there. Alvarez living up to his filling, tough, hard-nosed aggressive he just steps in there and slugs and he is busy with those punches always coming forward well that's a landmine you can step on because if there's one thing that uh, Lopez does is counter punch beautifully 